well <coughs> we did finish the one of the dlcs yesterday which is murder on editanos where we obviously found out that uh, that was not the main character we thought was dead is not dead yeah so
Hello. Hello. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Okay. Which one? 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 Fire catch as it. Yeah, to you can do gone hard. Welcome to Ambrose Manor. We were not expecting company. Please follow. Do not stray from the path. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh no, we should check to see he's all right. <laughs> and they're a little good. Structural damage detected. Compensating for structural damage.
this unit can help itself. These, these, these do not eat. Take it back. Ain't nothing here but memories. It's so empty. Oh, Captain, something here don't feel right. Mr. Whoever you are. So who the devil are you? You certainly paint a picture, and I'm certainly intrigued. Do you see that glowing chunk of space rock? That's Gorgon. My birthright, my burden, and the bane of my existence. I hate to drink alone, and this is my third. So join me in raising a glass to Gorgon. That's right. And I take it you're the type who skips formalities, so let's get down to business. Now, what brings you to my house, handsome? I take it you didn't come all this way for the beverages, the starry skies, or the pleasant company. Are you an honest-to-law vagabond? We don't see a lot of your type around here. Oh, we don't see a lot of anyone, in fact. No neighbor. I give you the grand tour, but as you can... Maybe you don't see the dust. Maybe you don't smell the stench of failure. In a manner of speaking, this is my family estate, but I've been living abroad, waiting for the previous tenant to... You're very inquisitive. Not that I mind. How exciting! You make it sound like something out of a crime drama. She gave him her hand in murder. Or arm, in this case. Really? Huh. Now this severed limb, did it have dark hair? Rugged knuckles? Chewed fingernails? A gunslinger's calluses? Aha! Mystery solved. I can only think of one man daring enough to jettison his extremities on my behalf. Lucky Montoya is my personal freelancer. Fascinating man. Very brooding and theatrical. Always staring into space and twirling a bullet over his knuckles. But if something happened to him... Oh dear. I suppose that makes him my former freelancer now? I sent Lucky on a dangerous mission to the Gorgon asteroid. Whoever found his remains must have wanted to inform the next of kin. What a time for his luck to run out. We were in the middle of something grand, and I really can't afford another setback. Excellent deduction. I can tell I found the right man for the job. How would you like to be my new free- You offer work to everyone who breaks into your home? Must be some kind of Byzantine tradition I ain't know about. You're awful quick to trust a bunch of strangers that broke into your home. I'm looking for someone rough around the edges. 
A gorgeous, dashing scoundrel type. Incidentally, someone good with their hands. My mother, Dr. Olivia Ambrose, worked for Spacer's Choice at the Gorgon Research Facility. She was brilliant, the top scientist in her field, until tragedy struck. I wish I could say otherwise. One day, Spacer's Choice shut down all research and evacuated Gorgon. Everyone had to... It was chaos. Employees... It must have been real hard on you. Thank you. Ambrose ladies are supposed to be resilient to the unexpected, but... Mother's name has since been dragged through the mud. Spacer's choice bl- Everything you can imagine and more. Dereliction of duty, circulating anti-corporate memos, taking- Mother would not have allowed- the truth. Mother is... That will depend on what we learn. The scope of this cover. Or it could just be another dead end. We... I knew I could count on... All the evidence I need should be in Mother's journal. You can find it in... I admire your enthusiasm. This manner has echoed with my own we, and I can feel you breathing new life. When you reach Gorgon, pack a weapon you trust. The corporate lockdown hasn't stopped the wilderness from squirming in through the cracks. I told him everything I've told you. Just the facts. Maybe a couple of harmless embellishments. Still, you're smart to ask. Lucky spent most of our time together spinning a pistol around his index finger. Not sure you listen to any of my advice. More bravado than talent, huh? I know the type. He had an aura of rugged individualism that was quite charming. Not that it helped him in the end. But you won't let me down. That's the spirit. There's a little saloon near Gorgon's landing pad, the Sprat Shack. Lucky was renting a room, so if you want to follow his trail, that would be the place to start. I ought to stop in and taste the local flavor. Oh, you think maybe they got a little mascot? Like a Sprat and a tiny hat? Just so we understand each other, money is no object. I'm willing to... Between your payment and any salvage you happen across, The cash? No one's ever done this before, and the only person who tried is a corpse. Here's your nav key, Captain. Spacer's choice should be the one apologizing, but... A word of advice before you go, Captain. Trust no one. Mother's office is in the heart of the Gorgon facility. You're free to salvage anything that isn't nailed down. I only want what's mine. Mysterious heiress, unexpected gainful employment. It's like something out of a detective serial. Salvage rights and a paycheck? This is almost too good to be true. Shit, that place looks good, man. Anyway, man, I've got to go get some dinner. Dinner. And I'll head over to this master bedroom.
and responses? How clumsy of this unit. These things have an old calamity. Sound. It's just great, man. long on Gorg and unprepared. Is that what my thoughts sound like? Law, I've been standing near that alarm too long. You looking for supply, stranger? I stock up here. If you run low on bullets out in Gorgon's far reaches, there ain't no one around here liable to help you. Let me know if you're looking for... Huh? Oh, you don't gotta worry about that. Something to do with that scrap project Gorgon from years back. Thanks for turning it off, by the way. I'd have lost my... We tried. Couldn't persuade the control terminal to listen. No one round here is particularly... I know, because even Von Ha... You mean you came out to this asteroid without knowing nothing about it? <laughs> Me too. Heard it was... Trouble it... If you want my advice, stick close to the Sprat Shack, unless you fancy having your limbs torn. On second thought, who needs my advice? Just be sure you, you watch out for Marauder. Only the meanest Marauder on Gorgon, and also anywhere else. That man is crazier than a bag of canids and twice as likely to bite. He will bust your head open like an overripe mock apple if he so much as sees you. I ain't you. Sorry. Been a minute. Charles from accounting is like... Imagine... That ain't right. Well, I warned you. If you run off and get exploded to death by... Sure, okay. I don't know. Hard to... <laughs> I'm just... I'm starting to wonder if there ain't a person on this rock entirely... I Look, long story short, you do not fuck with Chuck. Best to avoid the Marauder camp entirely. Only that spacer's choice from what? Yeah? The Marauder camp way out, and I sure hope. Yeah? His name is. Ch 
No, sir, they do not. Found a pickaxe. Come here. Let's have a chat. Watch where you're aiming! All right, inspection time. Look at my eyes for as long as you can without blinking. Starting now. Want to run that by me again? Feisty one. Well, fuck you too. That was a sanity check. If you had changed like the others, it'd be in your eyes. You'd also be drooling, cursing, and making a mess of the place. Every day, salvagers and scrappers set out to comb the ruins and make... The ones who come back, they aren't always... First, they get real twitchy and paranoid, shouting at folks who aren't there. Then they smell like they soiled themselves, on account of... After that, they're gone. Nothing but animals wearing human skin. This is the Spratch. We're the only... Just don't... Bouncer. That's us. <laughs> well, I hope you look the other way just this once. We get a lot of brand... Bouncer, bodyguard, law enforcer. That's us. <laughs> well... We get a lot of brand-loyal corporate types, and a lot of cutthroat freelancer types. This is a... the facility... Something bad happened here. Marauders... This place... Watch yourself out there. Oh! Ugh! This place smells like Felix's birth! Since I had a good trip with Gale. Hope they've got it on tap. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. First one's on the house, and I won't even water it down. What'll it be? So, you just wandered in for the genteel conversation. I assume you're here for some... Can't help you there. This ain't exactly a library. Most of my regulars are sublight scavengers. They pick over the ruins of Gorgon, spend their earnings at the bar, and uh, head back out the next... Vicious cycle. Spacer's Choice used to brew pharmacy. They say... Roscoe might tell you more. There's always Leonora, my favorite customer over in the storage room on the second floor. Keeps to herself and always closes out her tab. He's been here since opening day. He got left behind. Roscoe's drinks are on the house. We all know how it feels to get left behind. He'll be all right. He's with the family now. He didn't tell me and I didn't ask. I'm his bartender. If you believe the chatter, a lot of good folks got left behind and a lot of bad folks. Nice lady. Been coming around a lot these past few months. She isn't with Sublight, but she spends most of her days drinking alone. I think she's looking to hire someone. You know Lucky? Huh, small asteroid. 
Now that you mention it, I thought I saw those two sharing stories over a pint. Didn't think twice about it. I don't speak ill of the dead, but Leonora deserves better company. That lucky was no good for her. Lucky? Sure, I knew him. He could get a little... Heard he took on a dangerous job. Spent a lot of time coming and going from the Office of Creative Incubation, just down the... That's where the top rungers at Spacer's Choice came up with slogans of marketing. Lucky never told me why it was so important. <sighs> Awful shame about what happened to him. You really want to hear my story? <laughs> Lol. Most everyone around here is sick to death of it by now. Yeah, well, I'm new. Last I saw of Lucky was a few days ago. I went outside for a smoke and a stroll, and I saw this wild canid dragging a bloody limb. So I kicked the cane and scared it off. If the bloody piece in question was a raptodon tongue or a mantis leg, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Get this, the canid was chewing on an honest-to-law human arm. Lucky's arm. Mm. I'm a bartender. Attention to deep... Anyway... The arm was clutching a phonograph that mentioned someone named Alex Hawthorne. I did some poking around, and this Hawthorne has a reputation among the uh, <clears throat> salvagers who frequent the bar. So I packaged up the arm nice and tidy and sent it care of the Halcyon Parcel Service. Oh, so she they even it. gave me a discount on the hazardous waste removal stamp. Floor. Once I figured he wasn't coming back to pay his tab, I left his room unlocked to air it out. You can help yourself to anything you left. Fair warning, I've been letting the regulars use it for a quick lie down. Just wash your hands when you're done. Yes and no. The Sprat Shack used to be a shipping and receiving warehouse during the old Project Gorgon days. When Spacer's Choice pulled their guys off world, Sublight moved in to uh, salvage what we could, and they put me in. Yes, and no. rumor has it there's a Sprat wandering around the Groundbreaker, and he's the legal owner of the Sprat Shack. Hagen's idea. See, Hagen didn't want a paper trail that led back to her, so she gave the bar to the Sprat. If there were any legal problems with this place, the sp You think a Sprat could own Edgewater? Oh, oh, imagine one wearing Mr. Thompson's little hat! Anyway, that's what the paperwork says. I don't make the rules. Easy. His name's Matt. The beautiful thing I think that's kind of the point to send the authorities on a wild sprat chase. I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. The sprat shack's gone through a lot of title holders. As far as business arrangements go, this one's a head scratcher, but they say it's all about. Yes and no. They didn't even serve drinks until I arrived. <laughs> yes and no. Again, that one was Hagen's idea. She told me that speaking in vague terms keeps you out of trouble. And I don't want any trouble in my place. Thirsty people come and go from all over the colony. Mostly on the way to somewhere better. That's how we get the unconventional goods anyhow. I'll set him up. No, the drinks aren't watered. Space. They say a. I doubt anyone knows. And the weirdest thing of all, a. Damn right we are. When space. Of course. You got it. Bob. Be seeing you.
You're a humbug, Trixie. And worse, a thief. I can't steal what's lawfully mine, you tangle-footed dimwit. Break it up, you two. I've heard more than enough of your shit for one day. Boy. You know what, right now, I'm gonna go.